All right, guys, let's talk about lining up audio really quick. All right, so I'm working on this episode that might have come out already. I'm not sure. Um, it probably has come out already. It's just an interview episode um, with Michael M. He's another engineer. And uh, basically what we did is we did a screen capture. So we did a Zoom screen capture, and we each have our own microphones, and we're lining up the video with the audio. And one of the issues that we had is that Mike forgot to use earbuds and then had my audio running out through his studio monitors, through his speakers. So basically the issue that arose, I'll show you what happened here. So the issue that we had was that we had a delay between my microphone signal and then the signal from my microphone that was coming out through his speakers. And so that was like really distracting. So even though my video editor did a perfect job of lining up the audio with the video, so the two microphone signals with the screen capture video, right, um, it was just a little too distracting. So I'll show you what we had when the audio was all lined up. Uh, so this is the distracting version that we wanted to fix. I guess love of music, and then I've always been better at the science. So you can hear the delay there, right? So you can hear the audio coming through um, his speakers. So this is an issue, and at points it's louder than others. So we went through and did a little bit of like vocal leveling to try to diminish my audio and then raise up his audio a little bit, um, which helps, right? And then I've also gone into Premiere might as well switch into Premiere here. So I've also gone into Premiere and added a bit of an EQ here onto his microphone just to reduce those high frequencies because um, one, he had a little bit of room noise coming through that was very much in the upper frequency spectrum, like way up high, you know, like um, I think on my EQ I cut, let's see if I can find it here. You guys will have to bear with me. I'm not the best at um, Premiere and video stuff. Um, but I just cut the highs here, so way up there, 8K, 16K. This is starting to cut into his voice a little bit, so I only reduced it a little bit. Um, but I did that to help with the noise, and also because usually if you're recording speakers uh, like we had on his end uh, from my signal, then what happens is the speakers tend to, uh, you tend to capture more high frequencies and the bass doesn't get replicated as easily when you're going out through a speaker and then back in through a microphone. That's just what tends to happen. So with that in mind and the idea that I'm female and he's male, so hopefully we'll be able to cut some of the higher frequencies and it'll cut out more of my signal, more of my voice on his end than uh, his voice. So the idea there is to keep his voice in and reduce my voice as much as possible. So I did that, but the big thing that I was kind of excited about that I wanted to show you guys is how I handled this delay situation. So the delay was just too distracting at points, like, you know, some points it's worse than others, but basically what I did here is I made a copy of the video. So I originally just had this one video and this is just a, an exact copy, right? So I copied and pasted it and then let me see if I can show you here what I did. I'll just go here because I don't want to mess up how it's lined up now. What I did was I actually cropped the copy of the video so that it was just my half of the video. So this is, this version here has both of us, but then this version here is just me. And so basically what I did was I took that and then if I return to the beginning. Actually had a this is us setting up here at the beginning. I haven't edited this yet, but at the beginning, what I did is I took my microphone and then this video that's just me and I just moved it back in time and staggered it so that when my microphone comes through, it's coming through at the same time as the signal from my microphone is coming through his speakers. So that alleviates some of the issue a bit. So let me see if I can find a spot where that would have been an issue. So here, for example, um, later, I don't know. It's a tough decision. Yeah. So we've reduced the levels over here, so you don't really hear it as much, but you can hear it when I say decision right here, and you can actually see the signal coming through his speakers right here. So if I solo this, you can hear it. Tough decision. Um, it's pretty quiet. Tough decision. It's a tough decision. So by overlapping that, I've made it less obvious, right? So that's basically how I address this issue. I think that's about it. I just thought I would do a quick screen capture to show you guys how I did this, because A, I'm really excited about it that I uh, did 
did this really quickly and it helped the issue a little bit. But I also figured with everyone staying at home right now and a lot of people are using Zoom to do things like this, right? Maybe for their YouTube or their podcast or what have you, and they might be running into the same issue. So I figured I would share this with you guys and show you how I addressed it so far. Um, and again, it's not perfect, but what are you going to do, you know, when you're doing a screen capture? Um, these things happen. And this is my first collab video, so I'm pretty excited about it. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll put a card up on the screen for that for you guys to check that out. We kind of just chatted about random audio engineering stuff in this episode, so it was pretty fun. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope someone found it useful, found it helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below as always. And you know, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all of those things. And also I do have a Patreon if you want to support my channel more directly. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thanks for watching. <laughs>